title po natin for tonight is How Can We Overcome Worry and Stress? Marami sa atin ay distress, di ba? So, worried or stressing about material things like food, yung mga pagdating na ng middle of the month. No more budget na. So, they are stressing ano yung kanilang gagag, uh, um, gagastusin pag wala na silang pera, yung kanilang pamasahe. But, um, sabi dito ni Lord, do not worry. Amen? So, stressing about material things, food, water, or finances. So, let us read Matthew 6, verse 25 to 34. Medyo mahaba-haba. Pero yung text natin is 25 to 26. So, ayun, sabi dito, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink or about your body. What you will wear, it is not life more important than food. Important than food and the body more important than clothes. 26. Look at the words of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than them? 27. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? 28. And why do you worry about clothes? Lalo na sa mga babae. Amen. See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. 30. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you of little faith? 31. So do not worry saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? 32. For the pagans run after all these, all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Amen? So, most of us always stress in everything. In our food, ano yung kakainin ko, Lalo na sa mga babae, yung clothes, ano ba yung susuotin ko? Amen? So sabi ni Lord, do not worry. Amen? So where Jesus tell us that we shouldn't be worried about these things. Do sa mga binasa natin, sabi na, do not worry. If God take cares of such, uh, yung mga needs natin, yung bird, pinapakain niya, di ba? much more tayo because um, he was created uh, we are created by his own image amen and sabi dun sa binasa natin dun sa 27 who of you worrying can add a single hour to his life kung mag-worry ka ba ah bago ba yung buhay mo di ba pag na stress tayo Sometimes, ayan yung um, na high blood, sabi ni Brother Earl, nakakalbo, sa mga submission, amen? But sabi ni Lord, do not worry. God knows our needs. Kahit hindi pa natin ni-mention, God knows everything. You believe that? Yung naniniwala and we shout Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Sabi ni Lord, God knows your needs, but He wants something from us. Sabi dun sa Matthew 6 verse 33, But seek 
first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. Doon sa ibang translation, added. So, doon sa blessing natin na uh, nare-receive, dadagdag na lang siya. Amen? So, that means that you shouldn't dwell in the issues of our life. Amen? Pag Christian na tayo, let us give our worries and problems to the Lord and the Lord will take care of them. Amen? Kasi kung mag-worry tayo ng mag-worry, lulukot lang yung mukha natin. Papangat lang tayo. Amen? So, sabi dito, should not dwell on issues that worry more than you dwell on your relationship with God. What is more important? Our relation to the material, yung mga, yung sa material things natin na tinatamasa or yung relationship natin sa Panginoon. Siyempre, yung relationship natin sa Lord. Amen? Kasi pag nag tayo sa relationship natin sa Lord, sabi ni Lord, sabi doon, pag na natin si Lord, and nag naglive tayo ng holy before the Lord, and na natin siya, all that we need in this life, He will give it to us. He will give it to us. Sabi dito, di ba? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Unahin natin si Lord above all things. Isa kasi inuuna natin yung, yung mga gusto natin sa buhay. Amen? Sabi dito, dun sa scripture na na verse uh, 6.33 Sabi doon, Seek first. Pag sinabi first, una. Hanapin natin siya una. Hindi sarabi pangalawa. Amen? And sabi doon, Not seek only. Sabi niya, ang linaw, di ba? Seek first. Ano yung isisik natin? Yung kingdom ni Lord and His righteousness. And all, all the things that we need, He will give it to us. Or He will add it to our lives. So do not worry in everything. Amen? So sabi nga, wag na kung tayong magpakalunod sa ating pag-worry, kung ano yung gagawin natin, kung meron tayong problema. Because worrying cannot help us. Kahit mag-worry tayo, magmukmuk tayo sa gilid, walang mangyayari sa atin. It cannot help our problems. The only solution is live holy before the Lord. Pag, pag tayo namuhay ng, ng kalugod-lugod sa Panginoon, mapiplease natin ang Panginoon. And all the things that we miss, it will be added. Amen? Amen? So, sa Philippians 4, 6, 7, sabi dito, do not be anxious about anything. Amen? But in everything, by Prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Diba? May instruction siya. Sabi dyan? By prayer, petition, and when thanksgiving, ipigay daw natin yung request natin sa Kanya. And it will be done to us. Amen? Palapanan natin si Lord. So, when you pray, di ba, pag nagpipray tayo, ask the Lord that He will be done in our lives. Hindi yung sarili natin. Sabihan ni Bishop kanina, if we love the Lord, 
we will obey His command. Amen? Hindi pwede yung uh, mahal natin si Lord, pero yung sarili pa rin natin yun ang mga mga. Yung gusto pa rin natin. Um, sabi ni Lord, magsigba ka. Go to the church and worship me. Pero ikaw, meron kasing nag-iimbag sa akin ng birthday. So nag-aan ka ngayon. Na dadalawang isip ka kung ano uunahin mo. But if you love the Lord more than anything, you will choose to worship Him. Rather than to go to the birthday party. The most important thing that um, doing in our lives is to worship the Lord. Worship Him and Spirit and in truth. Amen? So, kaninang for service, sabi namin, ang kote nag-worship. But praise the Lord in second service, we are all full of worship. Para pa nga si Lord. So in Matthew 6, 9 to 10, <coughs> ayan, tinuturuan tayo, no? This then is how you should pray. Alam natin ba yung prayer na ginawa ni Lord? Sabi dyan, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as is, is in heaven. Did it? Susunod na? Give us today our daily bread. Ang gusto ni Lord, daily. Di ba noon yung mga Israelites, nagbibigay siya ng pagkain for just a day. Hindi siya nagpapasobra. Kasi ang gusto ni Lord, daily tayong mag-aas niya. Pero tayong mga tao, gusto natin more than. Pag binigyan tayo ng, ng biyaya, gusto natin more than. Pag meron tayong magtatabi para sa araw ng bukas. But sabi ni Lord, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow, worry for itself. Amen? So sabi ni Lord, sige, sa 12 na, Forgive us our debt as we also have forgiven our debtors. And sunod na, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. So tapusin natin na. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So if you if you will pray to the Lord, it is very important that you give thanksgiving to God. First. Hindi yung Lord gusto ko ng sapatos. Amen. You need to worship the Lord our God. You need to give Him thanksgiving adoration before you pray. Sa daily devotion natin, di ba? Ginagawa natin yon sa ating quiet time. Sino po dito yung nagka-quiet time? Tumakas nga yung kamay. So, dun sa mga hindi pa nagtaas ng kamay, maganda magkaroon tayo ng quiet time before the Lord. Kasi dun natin nakakausap si Lord na one-on-one. Amen? So, yung hindi pa nagka-quiet time, wala pang devotion, itry natin yun at mapipil nyo yung presence ng Panginoon. Amen? So, when you pray, ask the Lord that He will be done and just trust Him to get what you need from the Lord. Amen? So, sabi dito, kung tayo din magpipray, mag-ask din tayo ng repentance. Because every day, aminin man natin sa hindi, lagi tayo nagkakamali. So, when you pray to the Lord, ask repentance. Yung repentance na hindi yung pag ginawa mo ngayon bukas, hihingi ka ng tawad, and then tomorrow gagawin mo ulit. 
truly repentance is, um, sabi nga doon, tatalikuran mo na lahat yung mga nagawa mo kasalanan. Amen? <laughs> Hindi yung pag nagkamali ka kayo, hindi ka tawag din tomorrow, you will do it again. Amen? So we need repentance and God knows what is best for us. Minsan yung gusto natin, nag-pray tayo sa Lord, na yung gusto natin, yung gusto natin ibigay sa atin ng Lord. But the, but the Lord knows what is best for us. Minsan binibigay ni Lord, ay bakit ganito yung bigay ni Lord, hindi naman ito yung pinag-pray ko. Pero hindi mo alam, yun yung talagang para sa iyo. Yun yung best na binigay sa iyo ni Lord. And sabi nga, huwag tayo dapat mag-reklamo. Because lahat ng binibigay sa atin ni Lord ay best. The best. Amen? So, kung binigyan na tayo ng ganito, we need to be contented. Kasi, ugali nyo sa Lord. At yun yung talagang tawang para sa iyo. Amen? Amen? So, in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, Sabi dito, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. So, always ask the Lord for, for guidance. Amen? Kasi pag dinagay tayo ni Lord, hindi na natin may isip na mag-worry. Hindi na natin may isip na ma-stress. Because you know that the Lord is there. Amen? Di ba sabi, pag na-stress ka, na buong ka, tagal ang buong mo, na high blood ka. <coughs> Amen? Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. Amen? No. Ano pa lang ako first na nagbabasa pa lang ako ng Bible? Nung babasa ko to, commit to the Lord whatever you do. Kasi dati, hindi naman tayo nagpapray. Nagpaplano lang tayo ba hindi natin sinasanggunin sa Lord. But when we know the word of the Lord, all the plans that we are making, me and tatay, we always give it to God. And then si Lord, sabi nga, Thy will be done. Kung ano yung, kung kalooban ng Panginoon, ibibigay niya. Kung hindi kalooban ni Lord, hindi yun para sa akin. It is very important that all the plans that we are doing, we offer it to God. And si Lord ang bahala. Amen? Natututo po ba tayo? Amen. So, remember your definition of success in God may be different. Misan, yung, yung success na gusto natin is yung, yun sa atin. Gusto natin magtrabaho, working 24 hours a day para lang tayo ma-promote. Yung sa sarili natin sikap. But pag hindi yung talawa ni Lord, hindi ka magtatagawa hindi ka magtatagumpay. Kaya sabi ni Lord, all your plans ay i-commit mo sa Kanya and whatever you do will success. Success comes from the Lord. It is not comes from our own ability. It's from the Lord. Amen? So, sabi din dito, in Hebrew 13, verse 5 to 6, <laughs> Keep your lives free from the love of money. Sino dito yung love yung money? <laughs> so although we need the money for our everyday expenses, kasi kung wala tayong pera, hindi naman tayo makakabili ng pagkain. Kung wala tayong pera, hindi tayo makakasakay ng metro. Amen? So everything... Money is not is not bad, but if you love the money, 
yun yung problema. So, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Amen? So napakaganda dito na ang sinabi ni Lord, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So whatever um, happen sa buhay natin, sabi ka, gabundok na problema, walang trabaho, amen? Walang matirahan. Sabi ni Lord, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. He will always provide for us. That He is, seek you first, His kingdom and His righteousness. Amen? So, Apostle Paul knew both wealth and poverty. Si, Apo, si, si Paul, naranasan niya yung karangyaan, naranasan niya yung kahirapan. Amen? Sabi dito, natutunay niya yung secret ng contentment. Amen? Ano yung secret niya ng contentment? Ano yun? Ang secret niya ng contentment is his relationship with Christ. Amen? Palakpakan niya natin si Lord. Matuto lang tayo yung makontento sa buhay. <laughs> Matuto tayo yung makontento dun sa tinatanggap natin at dun sa relationship natin sa Panginoon. Matututo tayo pahalagahan at pasalamatan yung binibigay sa atin nila. you believe in that? Amen. Pag binigyan ka ng piso ni Lord, huwag ka na mag-ask pa ng another piso. Because that one peso or one dirham that God has given you is enough for you. Be content with what you have. Amen? So, doon nga sa yung aking life verse na I can do all things through Christ. Forgiveness, child. And if you are suffering from anything and you believe that God is your helper and God is your um, your helper and God is your uh, father Amen? Do not worry because God will help you. Amen? God is our helper and God um Sabi nga, tatanggalin niya lahat ng ating, ng ating mga worries and mga stress na naranasan natin. Because the Lord is our Father. We can run to Him. We can depend on Him 24 hours a day, 24-7. Every day, He is there. He, he is just waiting for us to us or to pray for him kahit kailan hindi tayo pinabayan